In the hands of Professor Euripides Cypriotis is the potential salvation of the Greek silk industry. Eggs of a high quality silkworm which was thought to be extinct but is very much alive. If you see them moving their head this way, it's a sign that they want to spin their cocoon. Fed on mulberry leaves, this worm is special because it originates from the Balkans and is better suited to the environment of northern Greece than expensive, sometimes unreliable, imported Asian worms. I think that if some material, some hybrid is being produced here, it will be adapted completely to the environment, so it will be producing steadily, same quality and same way. If Greek silk producers can rely on homegrown worms, they will no longer have to import Asian eggs and their costs will drop significantly. The town of Souffle behind me sits astride the old silk road which used to run all the way from China to Italy. In the 1930s, Souffle was the most important silk producing town in the Balkans, supporting 12,000 people. Now the population has dwindled to 4,000 and silk only supports 10% of them. Souffle became a graveyard when Greece could no longer compete with man-made fibres and cheaper silkworms from the Orient. One of the last remaining factories hopes that Greek silkworms will help it fight the competition. We have a lot of uh, imports from China and from India. We have a special quality of silk yarn, but we have a big problem uh, because our products it's, uh, cost about that, uh, Two, two times biggest uh, than uh, these products we import from China and from India. Souffle ticks over on passing tourists, attracted to traditional chintzy designs. But community leaders believe the town has to modernize if it wants a revival. We believe that this, I don't know if it will be in the far or in the far future, but it will be changed because but the Greeks might have missed a trick. Recently, Korean scientists claim that silkworms produce a natural form of Viagra, and that's the route they are pursuing, because there's more money in sex than silk. Malcolm Brabant, BBC News, Souffle.